<laughs> well, Death Run Season 7 has just popped up, which means a few things. More stuff to run around the maps and collect, more prizes to be won, the rounds ending instantaneously, and of course, a brand new map. And boy was I excited to play on this one. But first, let's go over what this update brings us. Fiesta del Tomate, much like other seasons, features six rewards that you must unlock, ranging from swords to trials to emotes, you get the drill. This season brings to the table some stuff associated with fiestas, beaches, and other stuff tied to Spain. For the trials we have tomatoes, confetti pouring out of your ears, and music. The swords however are where it's at. The Sun Slayer looks fairly generic, but the other two? You can slap the killer to death with a fish and a freaking beach brawly. Oh! 10 out of 10 would slap again. Though I was kind of surprised to see there was no new emote this time around. Those were the highest gold pass rewards in the other seasons, barring Galactic Holidays. That's probably my one disappointment with this season. Also, this season apparently began before the update was even shipped to keep in time with Metaverse Champions. Does anyone give a crap about that event? Obviously, it wouldn't be a Death Run event without some collectibles to distract you from normal gameplay. And this event has, of course, giant tomatoes, which oddly make a loud noise when you pick them up. There must be lead inside of those. And just as usual, a few traps have gotten fixed. That's fine and dandy and stuff. Trap fixes usually aren't the most exciting thing to me. Oh my god, they reverted the plasma wall to its old design. Oh my god, the sentry turret in Poison Sky Ruins is no longer near useless. Best trap rebalance ever. Oh, and the final ice cavern trap change is nice too. I'd rather they fully revert it to its old design, but at least you can't effortlessly skip the ice wall anymore. But enough of all that, I think I know what you're all here for. The new map, Fiesta Coastland. I'll just start by saying the map looks outstanding, as any modern Death Run map should. The piers and streets have plenty of detail to them, the houses have lots of color, and the sunset is gorgeous. Honestly, the whole map just feels like, well, a fiesta, and the music perfectly encapsulates that. Also, I love this little easter egg here. I don't know what it is, but that is adorable. The traps are pretty good too. They throw at you plenty of stuff that you expect to find in a setting like this. There's coconuts, barrels, tomatoes, of course, a crane, a breaking piece of pipe, a water wheel, a freaking water slide, the list goes on. And I'd like to give this trap the award for the funniest trap in Death Run history. Like, who is the freaking genius that put Boraicho in charge of this tomato stand? <laughs> the traps themselves are fun too, especially as killer. You can score some good wipeouts with the first few traps if you're lucky and time it just right. If you're really good at jumping, you could survive the water wheel's activation. But overall, the gameplay is pretty solid. It's no galactic terminal, but it's still a fun little map that I'm happy to go through every now and then. As to where I would rank this map, I'd probably put it between Ancient Jungle and Pinewood Hideaway. By the way, I accidentally found this funny glitch where if you put down your flag just as the timer hits zero, you could run before the round even begins and potentially skip the first trap. All for the low price of giving up your flag boost. Warning, some supernatural things may occur if the killer is overly aggressive. Furthermore, I do not condone exploiting in Roblox. Let this bug be known to the devs and don't sue me if you lose to a runner using this exploit. And I guess that's that. For now, anyways. I heard Cyberpunk Central is coming to the game later this month, but I'm kind of juggling a few projects right now, so I'll get to that when I feel like it. Assuming I cover it before the next season. Anyway, that about wraps up the video, so until next time, Baneworth out.